Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be reviewing this product from the makers of Sensationale. They have a new product called Fuse Gel Namel. This is um, gel nails that are, it's like a one-step type gel polish rather than um, rather than the multi-steps of the regular Sensationale and other gels. So it came to me like this in this cute little box and I'm going to pull out the contents so you can see what's in here. Okay, so first things first, they had this read me, it's important, <laughs> very cute um, little instruction card. So if you aren't familiar with how to apply them, this is a great place to start. Um, what comes in the kit, in the starter kit box, is the gel enamel polish itself, cleanser, um, a buffing stick and, cute, and um, nail stick for fixing little mistakes, and this adorable little single finger LED light. Um, and this is the part that plugs into the wall and the cord that it comes with. Um, it also comes with these little um, lint-free cotton pads. The concept behind these is the same as other gels, but these are the one-step gels as opposed to the Sensational product where you put on primer and um, clear coat and there's a bunch of different levels. This one is a little bit faster. So the first thing that it tells you to do is obviously you want to have your nails clean um, and then you're going to, there's two sides to this little stick. You use the pink side to very, very lightly buff the surface of your nail. They, most probably nail professionals would tell you to do it in one direction. I'm not really that picky about it so I kind of go up and down so if you have a better technique please feel free to use it okay and once you have that done you're going to want to clean your nail with the cleanser that they provide it is sort of an alcohol based type cleanser I believe it smells somewhat like alcohol but I'm sure it has other little emollients in it so then you want to very Lightly clean those, clean your nails with the cleanser. It's to get off the dust from buffing. Now, I think that using this little single finger light is probably an extremely smart idea because when doing, um, even using my Sensation Nail Kit, when you, if you try to do a layer on all the fingers and then put them all in together, sometimes it the polish itself will kind of tend to drip and pool down to the the ends so doing it one finger at a time gives you the chance for it to stay kind of where you put it so i think that actually is a good idea um okay so you take the polish out it's i probably shouldn't even be calling it polish because it's a gel mammal it's not really a polish at all this formula is thicker than the Sensational product, that much I can definitely tell. Um, I tend to think that it would be an advantage to do it in a, th a thicker thing so it doesn't have as much time to, um, to run. So what you do is just very, very thin layers. Don't worry if it's not completely opaque because you will do more than one layer. It's one step, but it's definitely more than one layer. So here's a thin coat. Um, I probably should have capped the edge. I guess I'll do that on coat two. And then there's a button here at the top of the lamp. It turns on and you put your finger in there and wait. Now this is actually already hardened. It's not like regular nail polish where you need for it to dry. However, there is kind of an oily layer at the top. Now you don't need to take that oily layer off until after you're finished with both like your second coat or third coat if you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and take some more gel enamel, put it right over the top of that first layer. Thin coats is very important with gel polishes. So, okay, so I've gone ahead and done that. And I also recommend making sure that you cap the end of your nail because um, 
as this stuff hardens, it tends to almost shrink, so it will actually pull back from the tip of your nail. So you want to make sure you cover that free edge so that it doesn't leave any bare spots at the tip. Okay, so now I can take that out and it is completely dry or hardened and ready. So then all you will do then is take some more cleanser, wipe off that oily layer at the top, and it is done. Okay, I'm still in the process of doing this, but realized that I had forgot to mention one thing. When you are applying the gel enamel to your nails and before you put it in the lamp to cure, you want to make sure you don't get any on your skin around here. So if you do make any mistakes, you should use maybe just this um, manicure stick and try and remove any excess gel enamel before you put it in the lamp because it's not going to come off like with regular nail polish remover. So you want to make sure that you have cleaned up before curing. Okay, now here is something I wanted to kind of show you the differences here. First, this is with one coat, obviously somewhat sheer. This is two coats on my ring finger, um, much, much better. And here is three coats on my middle finger. Now, the pointer finger here is only two coats, but I wanted to show you the difference. Let me hold my fingers as still as I possibly can. There we go. Okay, I wanted you to see... This, I have not removed the oily layer on the top yet. This one I have, and as you can see, the um, the color or the shininess has somewhat dulled. It's still somewhat shiny, but definitely not as shiny as these. So you could, theoretically, if you had a clear top coat for gel nails, um, you could put your top coat from like Sensational, for example. Um, I could put a clear coat over that if I really wanted it shiny. If you want to leave it just with this sort of satiny shine, um, that's fine too. So um, the now the other thing is I did these, when I first got them, I tried them out. And one thing I did notice is that these do not last as long as Sensational. Um, I know with my Sensation Nail, I usually get about 10 days, can be up to two weeks depending on how hard you are on your nails. Um, I actually was kind of hard on my nails, but was surprised after a few days they, they chipped a little bit on the ends. So what's wonderful about these is speed-wise, they go on pretty quickly. You know, I'm already ready to go. I don't have to worry about smudges. 30 seconds to dry per layer is faster than even a fast dry polish. So speed wise, it works actually pretty well and there is no prep really involved. There's no base coats or anything on it. Um, so if you are looking for a fast manicure, this really is a good way to go. The individual finger lamp is really cute and it's a very good space saver. So that part I thought was good too. Um, I just would not expect that it's going to last you for two weeks unless you're very careful with your nails. So um, so that's kind of the ups and the downs of it. But overall, I'm pleased with it. I think it's a cute idea. I will, The one step, you know, no needing no base coat or top coat is kind of a nice plus for speed wise. And everything is compact and fits into a tiny little package. So space saving wise, it's a really good idea too. But And with the starter kit, I was surprised that you get a full size gel nail polish. Um, the Sensation Nail Kit, when you buy a starter pack, has a really small bottle. So that's um, another plus from the Fuse product. So anyway, um, overall good product. It has its ups and downs, um, but I definitely will plan on using it. Um, I do kind of want to see what other colors they have available, um, but I am going to try and find some information for you in order to find how to get these and for pricing and availability. Okay, so that's it for this one. Um, I hope you guys have found this helpful, and we'll try this out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!